They've got big hearts at Hooves and Paws Rescue of the Heartland. Just as the name suggests, they're always on the lookout for any animal with hooves or paws. Matilda falls into that second category. She's here along with Gina Stoops and Lou Myers and from Les Hills, Harley Davidson, Deb Metcalf. It's nice to see you and welcome in. Thank you. What is Matilda's story? She's had a long journey. Yeah. What brought her to I'll Nebraska? I'll let Lou tell her story. Okay. Uh, Matilda was in a kill shelter in Louisiana and she came to Gina's attention. She was with five puppies that have been running the fields and mm -hmm. she was in bad shape and was not adoptable and Gina brought her up here and I was going to foster her but as soon as I saw her I said mm -hmm. this is a therapy dog she's mine mm -hmm. and, and look at her settling in yeah she's a happy girl <laughs> everyone has fallen for her <laughs> she's uh, her a sweetie. disposition is yeah. just horrific uh, exactly what is the organization's mission day to day at Hoops and Paws Rescue of the Heartland, we rescue and rehabilitate abused, starved, neglected, mm -hmm. and unwanted horses, donkeys, mules, dogs, mm -hmm. and puppies. Finding a home for a dog like Matilda has got to be, I mean, it's not easy, but it's got to be easier in some cases than finding a home for a horse or a donkey. So what are the challenges there? Uh, the dogs are, of course, uh, not as expensive as the horses. Mm -hmm. The horses often heal on the outside, but many times due to the abuse and neglect, it's harder to heal them on the inside. And once we heal them on the inside, then many are adoptable. Mm -hmm. But we do have several forever residents due to severe behavioral issues mm -hmm. from abuse and also um, health issues. Well, look at this. Well, this is Apollo, right? Yes. Uh, it's, it's great to see Apollo <laughs> kicking up dust there. Any ideas how many animals you've helped over the years? Um, as of last weekend, we just had over 500 horses, wow. donkeys, and mules that we've adopted, mm -hmm. and just at 200 dogs and That's puppies. remarkable. It's not inexpensive to feed these animals no. um, and to, to keep this mission alive. So where does the majority of your funding come from? We are 100% donation-based. And so fundraisers are critical. Yes, they are. Uh, that brings us to you. Yes, ma'am. Why is this cause? You could, you could pick anybody, really, if you said we want to hold a fundraiser, we want to help somebody. Why was this cause important to you at Les Hills Harley-Davidson? Well, in the Harley-Davidson world, not mm. only are Harleys important <laughs> I know to what us, get, right? yeah, I get it. <laughs> but also um, pets are very important mm -hmm. to us. We're a pet-friendly environment. We just thought it would be a good fit um, with hooves and paws for them to come out. Mm -hmm. um, community involvement, they're right in our yeah. backyard. So it was a way to, for us to partner with them. And um, we're going to have a great event, so mm -hmm. we're hoping that um, everybody comes out for it. Yeah, well, it's this Saturday, so it is. what's planned? It is. What should our viewers expect? Um, and do you want to start off and then I'll kind of sure, end up with what we're going to do? Absolutely. Uh, we're going to have some fun things there. We're going to have our farrier there. He's mm -hmm. going to do a demonstration on horses yeah. hooves. He's going to do a miniature horse and a miniature donkey. We will have our dog trainer Lou there. We're going to provide <laughs> all kinds of education mm -hmm. to people, resources to people. Some people need, uh, you know, apartments that are dog friendly. We'll provide those mm -hmm. resources. We'll have our mascot, Henry William, there, who's a 200-pound St. Bernard. Mm, we saw his picture, too. <laughs> we will yeah. also have um, three puppies that we just brought in last week. That are looking for homes? Yes, they are. Right. Um, they'll need to wait till they're about 11 weeks old because mm -hmm. they need to have behavioral Oh, they're training. baby babies. Yes. Yeah. Can you bring your own dogs, Lou? I mean, or is this the sort of thing where we're just getting advice from you and then taking it home and implementing it's, it? Yeah, it's better not to bring your dogs, yeah. especially in an environment like this because, you know, there'll be a lot of people and if your dogs need training, but I can give you, you know, kind of Actionable steps. Think what Mike where, and where I to go for help. <laughs> where to go for Mike help. and I both have rescues at home. Oh. We, we've got our hands full on different days. Yeah. And then what else are you doing? Well, there's a raffle? We, or? There are. There's, mm -hmm. you know, we've got um, some um, in store fun stuff going on, mm -hmm. and we're going to provide lunch. We're going to have pulled pork and, and coleslaw. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we invite the community um, all around us to come on out and help a very good cause, yeah. and hopefully we can find a home for those pups. Well, and that's that's the goal. And then beyond that, mm -hmm. to raise some money so that dogs that come into your care in the future, you're able to care for them in the way that's needed, and yeah. then get them into homes and keep yeah. going with it, because these just aren't animals, as we see with Batilda, yeah. who's just, <laughs> she's stressed, guys. Yeah, she's, she's really torn up about being here today. She has a hard um, life. 
<laughs> but, but for dogs that aren't just in the heartland, but her story illustrates that well, that you knew of her story, you knew you were in a position to help, and you brought her from Louisiana. It says a lot. Um, how can our viewers who, who are interested in adopting um, through your shelter do that? Whether it's, you know, after these three puppies are gone, then what? On our website, mm -hmm. we have adoption agreements. We yep. also um, need foster homes because Realistically, we can only take in so many mm -hmm. and keep them in our facility. So we need fosters for our horses, donkeys, mules, dogs, and puppies. Hoofspaws.org, that's the website. If you go to the site, uh, there is a couple of links there. So like hooves for adoption, paws for adoption, so they break it down that way. And then a couple of phone numbers there too. Uh, we wanted to share those so that if you wanted to get in touch with the shelter, you could. But then also for 24 hour help, um, you've got that number as well um, because this is about, an boy, we love animals. Um, but few of us are doing as much as the two of you. And mm -hmm. then for you at Les Hills to use that beautiful piece of property you've got yes. and to call on your yes. Harley community and to say, let's help. Come help. Absolutely. It's great. It really is. We're honored. Have a great Saturday, okay? Thank you Thank so you much all. for having so us. We Matilda, it. nice to meet you. <laughs> she's, looking <laughs> tail. she's looking at the camera, man. She's, like, well, she might, she's looking at Mikey D in the distance. Okay. I think they've oh, got baby, a little connection. <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead, the event where luck, perspiration, and charity come together. First Women in Money, author Nicole Lappin will get specific about how to get a handle on your finances and your future.